Hey guys, welcome to the Monday Magical Mystery Book Tour. Uh, these aren't my entire shelves. We'll be going through my entire shelves over the next few Mondays. But I thought we would first start off where the magic happens, where I blog. Uh, right here is my desk. As you can see is my beautiful notebook, my e-reader, iPhone, and picture of me looking partially naked reading with the dog in the pool. <laughs> yeah. Um, up at the top are books that I have to read and review. Um, my Italian book, which I haven't sold yet. And a few more books that still need reviews and a few that need to be read. Also, the awesome Christmas lights, which haven't come down yet. And then here's some overflow from my bookshelves. Well, you can see me in the background. I should chill out over here. <laughs> Um, underneath is my Jennifer Donnelly books, and they are all signed. Um, some Kristen Hanna, and a few other review books. Um, and then down here, more books. Alright, so we're going to come into the master bedroom, where my boyfriend is playing some Call of Duty. Yes, Call of Duty Black Ops. Tony, say hello. Hello. Oh, hi. Hold on. Let's get a close in. <laughs> this is the man who carries my books around. He's very good at carrying books. <laughs> Isn't he cute? <laughs> Anyways, okay. So, as you come into the master bedroom, well, not really the master bedroom, but where we live, um, is my bookshelf. So, on the top, we have awesome games because... I like to play games. And then we have classical books and not so classical books. And uh, Jody Picoult, some historical fiction, some POC books, and some books that didn't fit anywhere else. Then we come down here and you've got, let's see, The Living Dead. A boring ass book about colonies. Um, and it really is kind of boring. I know this because I had to read it for American history class. Some poetry, sort of fiction, actual history, and then some more books that didn't fit any results. And another actual history book. Then, oh, look, there's my tanning sunglasses. Then we come down here some hardcovers. Ah, uh, more hardcovers. Actually, this whole row is hardcovers. And then we go all the way down to the bottom, and it's all mass market paperback. Then we come over to Tony's bookshelf. And on the top is a beautiful photo box of us. A uh, ninja turtle with red hair. Some nunchucks, in case somebody tries to steal our books. And then Tony's books are all kind of boring legal thrillers. Uh, you got a lot of John Grisham, and then some, what are these, like textbooks? Yeah, um, books about sports, more mass market, legal thrillers, and then, oh my god, guys, try not to fall asleep, some boring ass textbooks. Oh, and there we have some spray, uh, Febreze knockoff, Glade, or Glade, apple cinnamon. Some political books, more boring textbooks, more boring textbooks. Then we come down here, and even more boring textbooks. Oh wait, there's like three books that look interesting. Patient Zero, World War Z, and The Perfect Storm. But after that, lots more boring textbooks. Oh, we got Bill Clinton's Life Story. Now that is fascinating stuff. <gasps> Act of God. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> and see some Tom Clancy, some ESPN, because I know everybody that reads my blog is like a huge fan of ESPN. Um, yeah, and lots more boring looking books. I know, I, as a book blogger, I shouldn't be like, oh, these books are so boring and stupid. But really, guys, they don't even have covers. But if you notice, his hardcovers, and then my hardcovers, I keep the covers on, Tony doesn't. 
Okay, so that is Monday Magical Mystery Tour number one.